In this video, I'm going to show you how to use in the custom LES path in your React Native project. It will be very helpful if uh, your project has a complicated folder structure or if you just want to avoid a long relative path in your project. Uh, in my example, I have some uh, common components like primary button and text field. And when I import that, I have this relative path and I really don't like it. So let's try to change it. And uh, for the first step, we need to install the additional Babel plugin. Let's do it. Okay. After that, we need to edit our Babel config. Uh, just to add the plugin, our model resolver, the extension TS or GS file, and also our alias. I prefer to add uh, the up uh, prefix for all my custom alias, just to quick recognize that, okay, this is my custom alias part. And the last step that we need to do it's edit our TS config file just to add the base URL with a dot value and to add our path. And now let's check how it works. Okay, now we see that we can replace it with the, our custom LS part. And uh, let me show you another example for the helpers. I have uh, two type of helpers. This is the hooks and this is device, something like dimensions, platform. And I want to import uh, with the different uh, import lines. For example, screens and hooks. I like uh, to have different lines for that because I think this is something different. This is about device and this is about the hooks, but I still want to change this relative path. How we can do that? Um, we need to add um, uh, same here for the our helpers folder helpers okay but here we need to say that we want to use all inside the helpers And same here. And now let's check how it works. Okay. Oh. Unuse it, remove. No, we don't want to remove. Let's type it. Up helpers device and up helpers. Oh, sorry. Hooks. Here we go. It works. Perfect. If you like that, please subscribe on my channel and don't miss the new videos. 